Rewatching videos of time lost to Lyme disease shows Laura just how far she's come. From being on a drip in hospital to the countless tablets taken, it was four years of treatment for a disease she didn't know she had. Infected at some point in childhood before illness struck over a decade later. The symptoms are really debilitating. Um, so not only was I getting the physical symptoms, severe brain fog, severe fatigue. I was struggling to even get up in the mornings, um, not knowing, forgetting, forgetting things. And then I was also, my sort of nerves were being affected, so I was falling over a lot. So I did antibiotic IVs, which was five hours every day for three weeks. And then, then I moved on to oral um, antibiotics. I did that for a year and a half. I was very, very, very sick. Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that can be spread to humans by infected ticks. Not all of them carry the disease, but these small insects can cause a circular bullseye-type rash, usually in the first month of infection. High-risk places for bites include grassy wooded areas. I think the first thing is to not panic um, and then also learn how to remove a tick safely. So that involves using fine nose tweezers or a um, proper tick removal tool and not burning it off with a match, not using Vaseline or anything else not designed to do the job. So making sure that you're also removing the whole tick um, and not leaving any parts of um, the body in your, in your skin. But despite the warnings, cases of the disease are on the rise. In England, there were 882 acute cases of Lyme disease between April and September last year when ticks are most active. That's a near 40% increase compared to 635 cases in 2022. It's leading the UK body responsible for public health to question why this is happening. The UK Health Security Agency says the health risks posed by ticks are directly impacted by temperature. The Met Office says that 2023 was the hottest year on record globally. So now experts are looking at whether there's a link between the two. With climate change uh, and warmer temperatures and more favourable uh, conditions for species, ticks and mosquitoes that don't currently occur in the UK, then it's likely we would like to see these species that currently occur in other parts of Europe appearing in the UK in the future. As temperatures rise, so could the risk of new cases of Lyme disease. For some, it can be life-limiting, but by taking it step by step, it doesn't always have to be. Amelia Harper, Sky News.